Should we run? I don't know, Sheila. They might be dangerous. But then again, that blue one is kind of cute. What do you say, Laverne? Anything you want me to. Tall, blue, and jawsome. Then when I say five ultra humongos with quadruple shakes, all you have to say is yes. <sighs> yes. And could you throw in one of those toasters for good measure? I like a shark with an appetite. Mm, just the way I like it. Crunchy. What, no water? No way. Even if we can't figure out what Piranoids polluted the city water supply with, we know he's done something. Maybe so. But the water supply doesn't seem to be hurting that guy over there. Or anyone else who's drinking it. I know. And that's another mystery we have to solve. What luck! The street sharks and that mud puddle were made for each other. <laughs> huh? Uh, uh, guys, that's one Seviat who needs to be taught a lesson. It's 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 Creep. <laughs> Not on your life, thin face. He's heading for the freeway. Shark attack! Ah! It's up, Vision City. Looks like the freeway's turning into the free for all way. We got motorized sharks. We got a bad looking lobster thing pulling a trailer. And we got pop rock meat. Vision City's finest. Out to make shark the fresh catch of the day. our chance to find out what he was carrying in his trailer. Unfortunately, it's gonna bite even worse if we don't lose these guys as well. Follow my lead. As Vision City's mayor, it's my place to assure you the Dr. Paradigm's tests have proved there's been no genetic tampering with our city's water supply. Thank you, Madame Mayor. 
But if you want something real to worry about, good people, worry about the street sharks. If people had any sense, they'd be worried about you, piranha breath. Actually, what I'm worried about right now is what Slobster had in that trailer. Australia's Great Barrier Reef, and the most vicious branch of the Amastrepes family. Once my bioengineering genius has transformed his genetic matrix, my newest creation should be able to stop the street sharks cold! <laughs> Lena, it's Michael. Sorry to interrupt, but when you worked for Dr. Bolton, did he ever keep any of his top secret info at his home? He worked a lot at home. Why? One of our patrol units spotted a light inside. I'm going back inside. Whoever broke in was smart enough to bypass the alarm system. Looks like he left a little something behind. We'd better take a sample back to forensics for analysis. There's another strange thing as well. For a slime-dripping perpetrator, this burglar was awfully interested in these family snapshots. Professor Bolton and his four sons. I wonder... Dr. Paradigm? Something just came in over the police scanner. Well, out with it! There's been a break-in at Professor Bolton's house, and the police found unidentifiable slime on the walls. Which means it could have been left by the genetically altered version of Professor Bolton himself. And whoever was in there not only slimed your father's lab, but also rifled through your old family albums. Slime? I bet I know where it came from. You got that right. It smells like Dr. Sliminoid is up to something. I got just two words for this, Jawbreakers, and you know what they are. Paul Finn! Shark When Dr. Paradigm violates the order of nature. And now, for the moment of truth. Him that he can't talk. <laughs> Nothing wrong. <laughs> Nothing wrong at all, Calamari. Not Calamari, Slobster. In fact, with his enhanced tentacle strength and projectile capacity, not to mention this genetically altered venom, which may be just the thing to help capture the sharks. I believe that Kilamari would be a far more suitable name. Even the genetic loyalty implant appears to be a complete success. Slobster, your selection of this specimen is the best work you've ever done. Thank you, Dr. Paradigm. Now, to test my next variant on this formula, I think a truly bad-tempered moray eel from the family Morena Helena would be just the thing. <laughs> Whoever was here was performing a biochemical workup on tap water. Yeah, and looking at my old football pictures. Hey! You don't think it could have been... Nah. I wouldn't say no so quickly, Jab, because someone's been copying some files from Dad's hard drive onto this disk, and Dad was the only person who knew the password that would let you do that kind of thing. In that case, maybe some of the answers we're looking for are right here. Remember, your mission is to recover any research data that Professor Bolton may have left behind. 
And if the sharks show up, Kilimari has my permission to field test his new weaponry on them. Shark alert! What's you tapping into? Trouble! And it's coming up fast from below! We're nearly there. Ten to one! This isn't an earthquake, which means... It's fin kicking time! Right! We gotta tear the top off this tin can first. <laughs> Teach you to knock? Knock on this shark face. Hey! Oh, stay away! What the? Oh, no! Stop! Dr. Paradigm doesn't want to kill them. He wants them taken alive. Hey! I'm just having some fun. Whoa! What the? Does it? Cause now I'm mad. Oh great! Another Zevia surprise from Piranoi. We got a surprise for him. Shark attack! <laughs> My fin. Back me up, Jab. Oh, this may be just what Dr. Paradigm is looking for. I'm taking him down. We can analyze this sample and come up with a cure. Well, the CV has grabbed Dad's computer disk. And his computer's a goner as well. Forget the disk! <laughs> we need to get Jab out of here fast! You have done well, my creatures. And what do we have here? Incredible! He figured out most of the missing steps. So... Mm -hmm. Ha! I never thought of that. So simple. And yet only a genius would have realized that the addition of some simple carbohydrates is all the first stage of formula needs to be complete. First a few drops from Fish and City's water supply. Which the professor and I contaminated back while you were still skulking around a coral reef. And the nice, fresh carbohydrates which Dr. Bolton so thoughtfully recommended. And finally, a dash of my stage two genetic activation enzyme. Look at the little squeaky goat. Did you say little squeaky? Incredible, Doctor. And the best part of it is that my version of the formula includes a complete obedience factor. Watch. No! Complete obedience? A part of the formula is still missing. Would you like to experiment on a shark, Doctor? 
Kilimari learns quickly, doesn't he? The sharks were sighted heading west on 15th Street, wherever that is. Well? I can find them. The one I speared should be an easy catch. <laughs> okay, sharks, here's the scoop. Based on the preliminary info you've given me, I put out the word on the internet to see if anyone out there in cyberspace can help us with the squid venom antidote. Got it, Goldman. Whoa! Looks like we got some squid to fry. Slamu, let them have it! Seismic slam! Anchovy breath. Jawbreakers, follow me! Uh, where's Streaks? Right here. Wherever here is. We've got to check on Jab. Oh, no! He's gone. Huh? huh? No! Slamo, get that poison sample back to Lena and work on the antidote. Streaks, you and I are going after the Seaviots. All right, sharks, we've got you surrounded. Come out peacefully. Put your hands over your head immediately. We've got the hammerhead and we're heading back. In case you hadn't noticed, you fools, you have company. I work, I slave, I expend my genius, and I will not allow you Seaviots to ruin all my plans by leading the street sharks to my secret lab. Take our prisoner to the auxiliary warehouse on the other side of town. And if you can't use him as bait to capture his brothers as well, then use the auto destruct system to eliminate them all! Let's stash our catch of the day somewhere where he won't cramp our style. That should do it. Let's go get those sharks. Uh, but where are they? I don't know. Dr. Paradigm said they were right behind us. Uh, what? Surprise! <laughs> and that's the difference between Seaviots and street sharks. We're smart! <laughs> <laughs> Mine. No way, Venture Face. Come to Papa, little stooge. Not a chance, slug. You're only making it hard on yourself. Give it up, Needle Nose. Well, if you can't go over or under an obstacle, then you've only got one choice left, and that's to go through it. Hey, what? <laughs> <laughs> In the thick of action, the Streaks is still looking good. <laughs> Save the fin check for later, Streaks. Let's grab our bro and go. We've got to stop them. It's time to trigger the auto-destruct sequence now. Uh, my pleasure. Ah, uh, this place auto-destructs in 30 seconds. Looks like we've got you now. You sure do. That is. Stop fooling around and get me out of here. We've got ten seconds to auto distract. Shark shark die! Hate to bend your nose out of joint, but it's the only way. <laughs> There you go, Jeb. Easy does it. I promise. To get well right away. But if you feed me any more of that rotten tasting tide pool tonic, I'm gonna spout. <laughs> we never told you how the info on the antidote came in. 
That's right. Huh? Whoever it was bypassed the normal channels on the internet, hacked their way through my internal security, and gave us a perfect formula for an antidote for jab. And for a vaccine, which ought to prevent the rest of you from having a severer reaction to Kilimari in the future. <gasps> Whoa! It sounds like we're getting another upload. And this one's about water. I wonder if this has any connection to the computer disk the Seviet stole. Is it possible? Do you think... I mean, could it be? Whoa. Really what do you think so? Me?